Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the braided puff stitch beanie, which you can see here in front of you. I also have the one that I made here as well to show you. This is uh, a very highly textured beanie. It is made with a bulky weight yarn shown here in the Lovely Layers Karen Swirl Cakes by Yarnspirations. It is an intermediate pattern to work uh, simply because of the variety of stitches that I've used in it. But hopefully with this crochet pattern uh, and video tutorial, I will help you along the way and uh, that you will fall in love with this hat as I have. It is a great weight it's uh, very warm, especially in this roving wool blend yarn, and uh, it's uh, become one of my favorite hats to wear. So we're going to learn how to crochet this braided puff stitch beanie. For this project, you are going to need approximately 250 yards of a bulky weight yarn. Today in the tutorial, I'll be using the cookies and cream uh, color of the Karen Swirl Cakes by Our Inspirations. You're also going to need an 8 millimeter crochet hook and as well as a copy of the written crochet pattern which is free on my blog at ridgetexturescrochet.com. In the description of this video you'll find uh, lots of information there about the yarn I'm using as well as the direct link for that free crochet pattern. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns as well as stitch tutorials. So thank you so much for joining me. Our hat pattern today is worked from the brim of the hat up to the top and uh, we're going to start by working a slip stitch brim. So start by making your slip knot. The brim of the hat is worked in rows so you're going to be working back and forth and you're going to start off by chaining nine chain stitches. Once you have your nine chains worked, you're going to begin by working one slip stitch into the second chain from your hook, so count in one, two, and then a slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. Now if you do not like working a slip stitch brim, that's okay. You can substitute these stitches for either single crochet or half double crochet stitches. I simply like to work a slip stitch brim because I find that the brim has good uh, bounce to it. It's not going to stretch out as much with wear. So slip stitch in each stitch all the way across, chain one, and turn your work. We're now going to work in the back loop only. And when you're looking at the top of your stitch, as I am here, you will see this lovely V shape. To work in the back loop only, you're going to work under the horizontal bar that is the furthest away from you. So instead of working under both those loops, only insert your hook under that back loop only and slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. This is what's going to give us our rib effect and it's going to have great stretch to it. When you come to the end of your row, chain one and turn your work. You're now going to repeat that row, slip stitch, working in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. And you're going to repeat this row until your work from the beginning measures approximately 16 to 17 inches without stretch. Now you can change the length of your brim um, and uh, I will give you the instructions in a little bit on how to adjust the sizing of your hat. So work your brim until it's about 16 to 17 inches and uh, then meet me back here and we'll continue on with our hat. 
Once you have worked your 16 to 17 inches of your brim, brim, you're not going to fasten off and we're going to join these two shorter ends together. So how we're going to do that is you're going to chain one at the end and then inserting your hook under the back loop only of uh, the end that you were just working on, picking up the opposite end and also inserting your hook under the back loop only you're going to work a slip stitch all the way across. So you're going to join your two ends together. So insert your hook under the back loop only of the first side, back loop only of the second side, and slip stitch all the way across. Just like so. So you should have eight slip stitches all the way across the two ends of your brim. When you come to the end you can chain one and you're then going to turn your brim so that it's right side out like so and it should be securely fastened on the one side. We're now going to start working in rounds around our brim, around this rough edge, and we're going to begin by working 51 half double crochet stitches all the way around. So there are no pretty places to insert your hook, so you're just inserting your hook as feels comfortable all the way around. When I work into my brim I kind of just work down a little bit and you're going to want to work 51 stitches fairly evenly. If you're having trouble with this sometimes it helps to place a stitch marker at the halfway part point and then you only have to work 25 stitches on one side and 26 on the other. Okay so go ahead and work 51 half double crochet stitches all the way around join with a slip stitch into your first stitch and meet me back here I'm just working all the way around here and slip stitching into my first stitch of my first round of half double crochet stitches now if you wanted to change the size of your hat all you would need to do is add or subtract multiples of two to that first round of half double crochet stitches. Then for round two, you're going to chain one, continue working in the same direction, and we're now going to work into the third loop. Now to find your third loop, looking at the front of your work, and then the top you see these V stitches that you normally work under if you pull your work forward you will see underneath the top loops a bottom horizontal loop there that is your third loop so for round two you're going to work under that third loop only and you're going to single crochet all the way around so single crochet in the same stitches joining then under the third loop only single crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch all the way around and what that's going to do is it's going to push the tops of your stitch forward and you're going to get this nice little bit of detail here so go ahead work in the third loop single crochet in each stitch all the way around join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of your round two, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, and you're all set for round three. For round three, we're now going to begin working some of those beautiful puff, puff stitches. Uh, there in the hat. So you're going to start by chaining three. This chain three does count as a double crochet stitch. Now to get our first puff stitch started, uh, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be working your puff around the post 
of the double crochet that you just worked and into the stitch uh, a skip stitch that you skipped before so for this first one we have our chain three we haven't skipped a stitch so we're just going to jump one stitch back so the previous stitch and that's where we're going to work our puff stitch to work our puff stitch we're going to yarn over reach back around the post of that chain three insert your hook under both loops yarn over and draw up a loop you're going to do that a total of five times so there is one reach back in the same stitch there's two repeat three four and five once you've repeated that five times you're going to yarn over and pull your yarn through all of the loops on your hook like so next chain one skip the next stitch so you have that stitch where you worked your double crochet you're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next you're now going to work another puff stitch this time working it around the post of the stitch just made into the skipped stitch just before so yarn over bring your hook back insert your hook into that skipped stitch yarn over and draw up a loop do that a total of five times once you've done it five times you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook chain one skip the next stitch and repeat double crochet into the next stitch puff stitch working around the post of the double crochet just worked into that skipped stitch yarn over pull through all the loops chain one and repeat skip the next stitch so you're going to repeat that all the way around to the first chain three and you're then going to join in the top of your starting chain three at the end of your round three you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that chain three for round four you're going to begin by chaining three and you're going to turn your work so you're working in the opposite direction at this time we're going to begin our next round of puff stitches so you have this chain three coming out of that uh, chain three down below which was your double crochet so your next puff your first puff stitch is going to be worked back behind into the chain stitch that is closing that uh, puff stitch down below so yarning over reaching back into the chain stitch that closes that puff right below work your puff stitch yarn over pull through all your loops and chain one you're then going to skip the next puff stitch and you're going to double crochet into the top of the double crochet uh, that's uh, that that other next puff stitch is worked around so double crochet into the top of that double crochet stitch next work a puff stitch in the previous chain stitch so that's back here at the other side on the other side of your puff stitch down below work one puff stitch into that chain stitch just like so chain one skip the next chain and puff stitch 
into the top of the next double crochet, work a double crochet stitch. Now reaching back into that chain stitch, work one puff stitch. So you're going to repeat this all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of the starting chain three. At the end of your round four, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your chain three, and you're going to chain one and turn your work. So you want to make sure that your work is facing right side out at this time, and when you look at your work, you should see these uh, puff stitches that look like they've been braided. We're now going to work a round of half double crochet stitches you're going to do that by, after you've chained one, half double crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then half double crochet into the chain one space. You're then going to half double crochet into the next double crochet stitch, and half double crochet into the chain one space. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Half double crochet into the next double crochet stitch and half double crochet into the chain one space. When you half double crochet into that double crochet, you're skipping the top of the puff stitch. So just half double into the double crochet and then into the chain one space. Repeat it all the way around. When you come all the way around, you should have 51 stitches, and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round five, you've joined with a slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one, and do not turn your work. We're now going to work round six, which is a round of single crochet stitches worked in the third loop. So pull your work forward, find your third loop there in back, and working under your third loop only, single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So it again should push the top of your half double crochet stitches forward. You'll get that nice little pop of texture and uh, and uh, that braided kind of knit look there on the top. So single crochet in the third loop all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round six, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and do not turn your work. Now for the next four rounds, rounds seven through to ten, you're going to repeat rounds three through to five once. So that round three was that first round of your puff stitches all the way through to the round five with the half double crochets uh, and the stitches all the way around. So you're going to go ahead, repeat rounds three to five one more time for rounds seven to ten and then meet me back here and we will start the decrease for the top of our hat. At the end of round 10, you'll have joined with a slip stitch in the first stitch and this is what your work should look like thus far. We're now going to start working our decrease rounds. For our decrease rounds, they will be worked in half double crochet stitches that are in the third loop. So you're going to continue working in the same direction. Begin by chaining one. Look for that third loop and half double crochet into that same stitch as joining. You're then going to continue working in the third loop and half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So you'll have a total of three half double crochet. Next, working in the third loop, half double crochet, two stitches together. So yarn over 
insert your hook under the third loop of the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch in that third loop, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. That's your half double crochet two together. Next, you're going to half double crochet in each of the next three stitches and half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. For round 12, you're going to chain one. In the third loop, half double crochet in the same stitch as joining and into the next stitch, half double crochet. Next, half double crochet, two together, continuing to work in that third loop. Working in the third loop, half double crochet in each of the next two stitches and half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Half double crochet in each of the next two stitches and half double crochet two stitches together. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. For round 13, you're going to chain one Working in that third loop, half double crochet in the same stitch as joining, and then double crochet two stitches together, continuing to work in the third loops all the way around. Half double crochet into the next stitch, and half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round 14, you're going to chain one and working in the third loop, half double crochet, two stitches together all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. You can then fasten off, leaving a long tail. So at the end of your round 14, fasten off, leaving a long tail. You're then going to use the tail to sew the top of your hat closed. So taking a yarn needle, before I sew the top closed, I like to just turn my hat inside out. And then to close the top, I simply weave in and out around the top of the hat through the top stitches. So I'm just weaving in and out through those top stitches around the top of my hat opening. When I come back to where I started, I then pull it tight and it closes just like a drawstring. You can then fasten off. I will just tie a little knot just on the inside at the top of my hat and then you can go ahead and weave in your ends. Once you've woven in your ends up at the top of your hat there, you can cut off any excess tail, turn your hat right side out
and your braided puff stitch beanie is complete. If you would like, it's optional. You can add a pom-pom to the top or you can wear it as is. But that's all there is to making your braided puff stitch beanie. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, be sure to tag me on social media if you make one of these and happen to post a picture. I love to see your finished work. And uh, again, I invite you to check out some of the other videos and tutorials here on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.